Today we're going to replace the sway bar end link of this vehicle. Grab a 17mm socket or wrench to loosen those two nuts. I was having difficulties in removing the knot since the stud also spins as I loosen the knot. Therefore, I use a regular pliers to hold the stud to keep it from spinning. You will see on other sway bar link that they have allen inserts or hexagonal shape at the back of the bracket. These are used to hold the spindle on loose or broken sway bar link. See how loose the joint is. Same case on the lower part, but this time, I will just force it by pulling the sway bar link, so the stud won't spin. See how loose it is. This is the new sway bar link. Here's the parts code for your reference. Here is a side-by-side -side view of the new and old sway bar link. As you can see, the old one is very loose. On the new one, I can hardly move the joint. On genuine replacement parts, don't forget to remove this thread protector. This is only a small plastic tube. What I'm doing here is optional. I always clean the area where the new parts will be attached or installed. Put some grease on the treads to prevent rust buildup. Install the new sway bar link. Tighten it snug. I will do the same thing on the other side. So, there you have it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching.